So this is one of my favorite places in Los Angeles. We are up in uh, the Coanga Peaks. Uh, we got Mount Lee and the Hollywood sign over to the left of us, and we got the Coanga Peak over here, which is where we're going to hike. Um, from here, you can see all of Los Angeles. We got Burbank over there, everything with the valley, even as far as uh, Pasadena, Eagle Rock over there. Uh, and over here, we have some of the coolest views you can get in, in all of Los Angeles. We've got Lake Hollywood, Hollywood Dam, the reservoir all there. We've got Century City, you've got Mid Wilshire, you can see all of Hollywood, you can see downtown, We're way above the observatory, that's, that's way down there. Um, and this place is open to the public. A lot of people don't even know that, but it's a place I've been coming up for years. Um, I used to live down in that neighborhood over here, and I, I discovered this uh, was a really cool place to go, and almost nobody is up here, and it's one of these resources that people in Los Angeles uh, they are sort of unaware of. So it's sort of a little secret, little hidden spot. You know what I mean? All right. So, this bottle right here uh, represents uh, the 2001 vintage from Chateau Canon, and this is uh, saint Emilion, also known as the Right Bank in Bordeaux. Uh, my wife and I got a chance to visit the Chateau, and uh, it's one of the most unique places that they grow wine in the world, um, because underneath the entire town are limestone quarries where they built Bordeaux town. So about 20 feet down, there's about 10 feet of tunnels throughout the entire town. So because of this, it has a sort of insulated layer and they never get frost on the vines. Um, so it, it really is one of the most unique places in the world uh, because of that. And they grow some great wine and I've become a big fan of them ever since. So this leaf um, is from my, my dining room table, and uh, it's probably hasn't been used much in the past hundred years, but it had uh, all this oxidation on it. And um, so what I'm doing is getting rid of about a hundred years of dirt um, and, and other things that I've collected on this beautiful tiger wood. So um, yeah, so I've, I've applied this chemical stripper, um, which burns your skin, but works in very quickly in uh, 15 minutes it says, and now I'm scraping off one layer at a time to get down to a layer that where we can see all the nice bright tiger wood come out of this. 